Right, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, being week four now of lockdown, still barely practicing into uh, our homemade net. So I was kind of looking online, seeing if there's anything else I can use um, that will just help uh, push my motivation up to, towards practicing. So uh, I'm not minted. I'm not like Rick Shields or these other guys who can uh, just grab a GC quad from their room and put it out in the garden. So. I was looking online to see if I could find kind of a free or, or cheapish uh, simulator to use just on my phone or my tablet. And I found one, it's called Shop Vision, if you can have a look. Um, so, what it looks like is select the club. So let's say I'll use the gap wedge, put ready. And from what I've looked at, is you pop down around four feet uh, this side of the golf ball and a couple of feet in front of it. Lean it up against anything. So it's at the right angle. I've got it leaned up against all-purpose plant food liquid. Um, get that set up. And that should, what the app says, give me total distance, carry, clubbed speed and ball speed. Now, from what I was looking at with the app, um, to get the full features, it costs £40 a year. Um, or if you don't want to do that, there's a seven-day free trial. Um, so I'm probably just going to do the seven-day free trial uh, and then bin it off and see what it's like. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to have a little... We're going to review the app, see if it's any good, see if maybe it could work for you guys at home if you've got a similar setup. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the app and see if it works. So I've set uh, the app up. I've used it as a 50 degree, so I'll pop that on the app. Um, I'm going to hit a shot that I'll try and hit 80 yards, um, and we'll see if it's accurate. I'm presuming, considering it costs you 50 quid, um, that it's not going to be that accurate, but let's, let's have a go. That was either my shocking golf swing or that was way off. Because that carried 95 yards if you could hear that. Um, so we'll hit a few more and see what it's like. Yards carry. It might not be too bad. I don't know if I'm going too long. Like I say, I've not really been practicing. So I don't know my yard is amazingly well. Um, what we'll do is... We'll, uh, we'll set it up to, to some different clubs. So let's go with a 9 iron. Go with a 9 iron. And we'll pop it in the position it used to be in. So, roughly, if I start off hitting some three quarter nine irons, they should go around 140. Ish, 135, 143 quarters. 140.5 yards carry. So, and if you heard that, I went 140.5 yards. So I called that fairly well. Let's hit a few more. Fifty quid. This could be decent for fifty quid. To be fair, right? Let's go. I right, have full nine, so around the one fifty-ish, I reckon, because I'm not too warm. I don't know, let's, we'll go up a few more clubs, so if I set 280.2 yards carry. Let's hit that 280, apparently. Okay. Another thing, actually, I'll just set now, with the app, you have different modes, so you have 
you just do what I did where you put it down and hit any club you want and that it gives you the yardage and uh, the ball speed and all that. And then you've also got where you can do a gap test for yourself where that's finding out your yardages of each club and you can take averages. Um, you have target practice, which I don't really understand how that works. And a combine test. So a combine test meaning um, the app will give you to a certain club and a certain yardage to hit um, and then give you points off how close you are to that yardage, um, usually around 10 shots. And it'll give you a final score and you'll get a, a specific score at the end of that. So we might try that at the end, but I'm going to do one more. We're going to get a seven iron out and we're going to hit some full shots with the seven iron. So my seven iron should go around the 170 region carry. That's what I'd be looking at. Good, uh, 172, if you didn't hear that, um, which to be honest is, is about right. That is about right. Send a few more. 179.1 yards carry. Don't know, I don't, 179 is quite long. Especially I'm not warm, I'm not warmed up at all. Do one more. Yards carry. I reckon it's not far. I, don't, I think the second one, when it said 179, a bit too high. But the other two, 172 and 171, I'd say that's about right for my uh, stock 7 iron. Uh, right, we have to try this. If you're doing a simulator, or a, uh, what is it called? What's it called? Launch monitor. If you're trying to launch monitor, um, you got to hit one of the drivers. So let's try and not break the house <laughs> and uh, hit driver. You can stop now, maybe. Okay, so we've set it up with the driver. My initial thoughts, I don't reckon it'll be very accurate initially. I don't, I'd like to be proven wrong, but I don't reckon it'll be any good. If it is, it'll be a good way to test the speed training. Yeah, yeah. Three hundred seven point eight yards carry. How did you hit that? I know, okay. Right, so if I show you that, this is what it's telling me. So I don't think it's right. I don't think it went that far. So it's telling me 307.8 yards of carry. Big dog. 315 yards total distance. That's a bit dodgy. 187 miles an hour ball speed and 129 mile an hour cover speed. Now, if you know golf, 129 mile an hour club speed. Even though I've been doing speed training, it's pretty stupid. Uh, the average, I think, if you look at people like Dustin Johnson, for example, or McRoy, they're swinging it around 119, 120. Um, so I don't think I'm swinging it at 129. 219.9 yards carry. <laughs> so there, it's just hit a shot for me. So it just said I had it 219 yards as I was speaking. So. It's weird though, because with the 7 iron and the 9 iron, it was fairly accurate, but I don't think that driver was very, that definitely didn't carry 309 yards and swing it at 129 mile an hour. So is it worth money at the minute? I'm not so sure. Um, what we'll do is we'll do the combine test that I was talking about earlier. So we'll select that. I'm presuming you just press ready and position it how it needs to be. Play. Well, I guess I'll wait for it to tell me something. New target, 60 yards, shot one, ready. So I, hope, I don't know if you heard that, I just said 60 yards, and that's my first shot. So I'm presuming it'll just give me points relative to how close I am. So I've got 54, which 
try and hit this 60 yards. 64.4 yards carry. I would say with the wedges, look at those grooves by the way, very good. Professional grooves. Um, I would say from what I've tested so far, with the short clubs, it seems quite a bit better than when you go up the bag. It seems to be not very accurate at all. So after further inspection of the combine test, um, you have to hit five shots from each target. So I've just hit five shots from 60 yards. Um, it's now told me to go from 70 yards. So I'm presuming that's another five shots. So we'll rattle through this and then we'll have a look at the scores afterwards. Okay, so um, did a bit of the combine test there, as you can see. Um, at the minute I did, I went up to 100 yards. So started at 60, went to 70, 80, 90, and then up to 100. Um, and I got 95. Don't know what that means, uh, but it kept going. But I think it was five shots every single yard. And um, I don't know when it finishes. So we stopped at 100 yards and took it as that. Um, so score of 95. It doesn't tell me what that's relative to. It doesn't tell me what that's out of um, or anything like that. So there's no real, you don't really know what you've done in the test, if that makes sense. So not sure if I rate that part of uh, the app. And I'd say you want to five shots in each yard is just too, far, too many. I might maybe make it down to one, if maximum two, just to speed things up. Um, and there's no, I don't know what I, 95 is out of. So I don't rate that too much. Um, so overall, the app, I think, from what I've tested, smaller shots and iron shots are, are okay. Uh, mid to low irons are pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say they're as accurate as a GC quad or a trap man, but um, they're not bad for what you pay. Um, when you move up to the longer irons and the driver especially, I mean, that driver that we looked at previously, where it was 129 mile an hour cover speed, um, isn't right. Uh, but to be honest, it's 50 quid a year, or so a month, not very much. Um, it's, it's, it's good, you know, it's, it's worth, it's worth a bit of, a bit, maybe the money if you're bored in lockdown. You know, I could easily see me and Tom doing some kind of wedge games against each other because I'd say the wedge yards are fairly accurate um, yeah so four quid a month isn't very much is it um, so shot vision app I would say it's not too bad I'd say it's nothing um, special nothing special at all but for the amount of money it costs it it does well for the money it costs it does well um, you know you compare it to a quad or a trap man they cost 20 grand so for the price it is, I'd say it's pretty good. If you want to download it, give it a go. Do the combine test, tell me your scores, um, and let me know what you thought of it. But I'd say it's not a bad app, and it may be worth downloading when you're stuck at home and only being able to hit a golf ball into a net. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.